everyone and welcome back to another video this week i have been to aldi for our shop and again it's quite a big one because i've done our usual weekly shop and then i've got a few non-food items that i needed and also i've stocked up quite a few bits for christmas um because i don't go to aldi particularly frequently because it's not that close to me so when i go i do like to kind of get my money's worth as it were and they had some quite good bits for christmas so I've done a bit of a stock up again and those bits will go away for Christmas and then I'm hoping that I can kind of stretch this until we do our fresh bits for Christmas because I do have some bits and bobs left over in the freezer and also we are going and sort of visiting family for a few days and stuff before Christmas which obviously I won't need to sort of have food in. Um, so yeah I'm going to kind of try and use up what we've got and so the freezer is kind of well not empty over christmas because obviously i have christmas food in but i kind of run down what we've got left over so i can sort of start afresh in january apologies for this kind of attire it is freezing and so i've kind of got layers on so it look i know it looks a bit weird but i've just got top under my jumper um because yeah it's like minus three today um, I need to get this away and then have a cup of tea and warm up. But um, I'll spin you around and show you what we've got. Um, I will share with you the meal plan at the end. Um, and then obviously I'll show you the Christmas bits as well. Okay, so I'll start as always with the fruit and veg. So I've got a bunch of bananas there. I've got some of the Easy Peeler oranges and then our usual Granny Smith's apples. I do still have nearly a whole pack in the fridge. So I've just got one pack of apples. And then I've got Henry, his usual blueberries that he enjoys. Um, I've got some closed cup mushrooms. Um, got some baby plum tomatoes got a bag of sprouts there for dinner um got a pack of two little gem lettuces and then i've got some mixed peppers so i've got um they're the sweet ones so i've got a red orange and yellow in there got a bag of the normal british white potatoes got some of the purple sprouting broccoli for a change i'm getting a bit bored of normal broccoli so i thought i'd get some of the sort of tender stem for a bit of a change um and then i've got our usual cucumber there that we get every week um and then i've got a four pint of blue milk i've got the boys some of these orange mango and pineapple smoothies uh, i've got a what's that a squirty cream and hiding down there i've got henry some chewbit yogurt yogurts yogurts for some reason we say chewbit yogurt yogurt um i've got my husband two of these posh yogurts so mango and vanilla and then a strawberry he does still have some yogurts in the fridge because he hasn't been very well so he hasn't really been eating them so i just got two um got some pizzas i mainly got fresh ones because there's going to be a lot of stuff in the freezer so i've got some fresh ones so i've got a barbecue chicken for my husband and i and then a stone baked pepperoni for the boys they look really nice um and then this rump steak i've only got one because i'm gonna do a um subway fake away and uh, we really like the steak and cheese um subways so i've got a rump steak that i'm gonna cook and slice thinly for my husband and i to have in our subs um i saw this i don't usually buy kind of the ready done chicken and stuff but i thought this looked really nice so it's british chicken breast fillets topped with mozzarella and a parmesan crumb with balsamic drizzle so i thought that would be really really tasty so i've got that for my husband and i to try um i've got our usual extra mature cheese um i've got some of these pots of chalk for the boys to have for pudding they're like the cadbury's um caramel ones although we did a taste test um months ago it was in the summer and the boys actually preferred these aldi ones um and they're a much more reasonable price so i've got those and then i've got 15 of the free range eggs um and then cupboardy bits i've got some cereal here to stock up so i've got um chocolate hoops and multi-grain dino shapes 
Henry's been wanting these for ages and like, they were finally available. So he'll be really pleased with those. Um, I've got a tomato ketchup. I've got some brown rice just to top up the jar. Um, I've got loads of gravy because I've nearly run out. And so I thought I'll get a chicken one so that I've got some in for Christmas. I've got a beef one because I'm going to do a beef stew. Um, so I've got beef gravy and beef stock cubes. And then I thought I'd get an onion one as well because sometimes, like, we're having pork um, at the weekend. I thought, actually, I don't want chicken or beef gravy, really. So I thought I'd do onion gravy. So I've stocked up on those. Um, I've got two squashes there. So it's just an orange and a black currant. So they're big double strength, so they'll last for ages. Um, well, they might even be quadruple strength um no double they are double good i don't really like the quadruple because i always put too much in um and then i've got some tins so i've got two tins of chopped tomatoes two tins of baked beans and two tins of beans and sausages then i've got one tin of chili just for a quick lunch and then i've got one of the um tikka sauces i like these i always say it because they've got the spices on the top so i've got them and then some snacky bits. I've got some of these barbecue lentil chips. I really like these kind of lentily and vegetable sort of crisps. So I've got them mainly for me. I've got some cheese and onion of the snack right crisps. I've got some raspberry and blueberry rice cakes. And then I've got some of these. They're like Rocky, caramel Rockies, but they're Aldi version. So wacko. So I've got them got some of the butter biscuits these are like a rip off of the Liebnes ones so i've got them for the tin and then i've got some rich tea biscuits because henry wants to do make some icing and kind of decorate some biscuits at the weekend so i've got some rich teas um and then the only other snacky thing i got was just some of these dinos so they're like bear yo-yos so i got strawberry and raspberry of them the boys were a bit disappointed because I don't have the cards in the same as the Bay Yo-Yos. But, I mean, they're about half the price. So, um, I just got, got those ones. Um, the bakery bits, I've got some garlic and coriander naan breads to go with the curry. Got some of the Italian-style Metro rolls to do our Subway fakeaway. Got some crumpets because Archie really loves those for breakfast. And just one loaf of the both-in-one. I normally pick up two, but I don't think I'm going to have room in the freezer. So I just got the one. And if I need an extra loaf, I'll have to pop out somewhere. Um, and then the freezer items, I've got one of these pork crackling leg joints. Um, we had this a few weeks ago for Sunday roast and it was really nice. So I've picked up another one of those for this Sunday. Um, I've got some of the country vegetable mix just to keep in the freezer. Some of golden Yorkshire puddings, you get 12 in there. Um, and then Archie asked me when they could get a tub of ice cream for a treat, you know, like the Ben and Jerry's kind of. So I've got them the Cheeky Monkey, um, which is chocolate ice cream with marshmallow, salted caramel and chocolate monkey faces made with whole milk and Jersey cre double cream. So, I mean, that sounds really nice. I have to be careful because Henry doesn't like cake. So any of the ones with like brownie in or cookie dough, he doesn't like any of those. He says it makes his tongue go funny. Um, so I was careful to get one. I think this is like a fish food kind of rip off. That sounds really, really nice. So they can have some of that for pudding. Um, and then the only other freezer item I got was some of these breaded chicken strips. I thought they'd be really nice. I've got some wraps in the freezer. So I thought either I'd do them in wraps or I thought it might be quite nice to have some if we're having like pizza. We could maybe have a few of those on the side. Um, and then the non-food items, I got Duke, some of the meaty strips. I've got a box of the softly extra large tissues. We're all quite coldy, so I've got another box of tissues. Um, and then I've got 24 of the softest premium toilet rolls. They were six fifty, but actually for twenty four, I thought that was quite a good price because everything like that seems to be going up at the minute. Um, and then just some jumbo kitchen roll because we're nearly out of that. And that's everything for kind of the weekly shop. Um, and then the Christmassy bits, I'll show you as well. 
So I've got a bottle of the pink Prosecco and another bottle of Malbec. We're going down to visit my husband's parents a few days before Christmas. So I thought we'd take a bottle of red down with us. Um, and then I've got some jarred bits. So I've got some beetroot to pop away. Some seafood sauce because I'm going to do a prawn cocktail for a starter on Christmas Day. Um, and then some sweet silver skin onions as well to pop away. Um, I've got a Yule log and some Ferrero Rochers for a treat. Um, I've got some more chocolate coins because if you remember I said about doing the Christmas cards at school and I was short of some coins. So I've got another pack of those. Um, and then down there I've got a big tub of, well, box of the biscuits for cheese for our cheese board. Um, and then some crispy bits. I've got some Pringles. Henry requested those. I've got some lightly salted crisps just to put in the snack tray. And then I thought these looked nice, salted tortilla chips, but they're Christmas trees and you've got green and red ones in there as well. So I picked those up and then I've also got one of the hot salsas so we can have some like chips and dips. Um, and then I've got two packs of these sourdough baguettes. They're the part baked ones. Um, I like to do a buffet on Boxing Day and we have like a cheese board and the leftover cold meats and stuff. And then I normally do some like bread and stuff like that with it as well. So I've got two of those. Um, and then the last bit, um, I've got two packs of the mini pepperoni pizzas for the buffet. So I'll pop those in the freezer. And then I've got one of these free range corn fed whole chickens. Um, to see what the weight is on there. Oh yeah, it's there. So it's one and a half kilograms basically. And it was £7.64. Um, I'm popping this in the freezer because I've got a real anxiety this year that I'm not going to be able to get hold of a chicken for Christmas. Um, I know obviously there's a lot of bird flu and stuff going around and a lot of places, farm shops and stuff aren't doing chickens. We don't normally buy turkey because there's only going to be four adults and two children. So I don't really need a whole one. Um, hi, Duke. What are you doing? What are you doing? Cheeky monkey. Um, yeah, so because I'm worried that I'm going to go on the 23rd and there's going to be no chickens and stuff available, I've got this one and I'm going to put it in the freezer. And then if nearer to Christmas I get the fresh bits and I see kind of like a bigger one or one that I like the look of that I will get. This can always just be in the freezer for um, like a normal roast dinner and I can use the leftovers for like some chicken fried rice or something. But in case I get to the 23rd, 24th of December and I can't get hold of a decent looking chicken, I'm going to have this one in the freezer so that I can pull it out and defrost it so that we won't be without a chicken on Christmas Day. Um, I am going to do beef as well. I'm going to get the Cornish salt and pepper beef that I normally get from Tesco and do a chicken and a beef. Um, and I'm going to get a gammon for Boxing Day, but we do like to have chicken on Christmas Day. So I know that is a bit um, eager um, to get one now, but I'm going to get it and pop it in the freezer in case we can't get hold of one because, you know, I like to be organised. So, yeah, that is everything that I got from Aldi this week. I will put the price on the screen for you now. And then I'm just going to pop all of that away and then I will share with you our meal plan. Okay, and here is a look at our meal plan. So today is Thursday and we're going to have balsamic chicken with some potatoes and veg. The boys will probably have goujons um, because there's only two in there and they probably wouldn't like it with the um, parmesan crumb anyway. So they'll have goujons. Friday, we're going to have our usual pizza night. Saturday, I've got some diced beef I need to use up. So I'm going to do a beef stew in the slow cooker. Sunday we're going to have roast pork and it's just that frozen joint. We've had it before and it's really, really tasty. I'd recommend that for one that's not that expensive and you can just keep in the freezer. I think it's about 3 49 So we're going to have that on Sunday. Monday I'm going to use the steak and I'm going to do a Subway fake away. The boys might kind of have theirs toasted maybe with like cheese and ham in or I've got some tuna in the cupboard. Um... So they can kind of choose what they want in theirs or they might have sort of, 
I don't know, bacon or goujons, they can choose what they want in there. Um, and then Tuesday I'm gonna do, I've got a couple of the ready done lasagnas in the freezer, so I'm gonna do lasagna and garlic bread. Wednesday I'm gonna do sausage and mash. And then I'm going to have some extras here. So I'm going to try and kind of use these bits up. So I've got some chicken and the tikka sauce I bought. So I'll do chicken curry. I've got some corned beef in the cupboard. So I'm going to do a corned beef hash. Still got some breaded cod. So I'm going to do that with some maybe homemade chips or wedges or something. And then I've got some chilli that I froze. So I'm probably do some jacket potatoes and do some chilli. And the boys can have beans and cheese or I've got little beans and little sausages in there as well to just kind of try and use up some of those bits um we may need to get a couple of things to last until we go down visiting family and it's kind of the christmas shop but i'm hoping not to have to do a huge shop i might just pop and get a few bits and bobs as we need it so that's our meal plan for this week as always thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed please don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe for more foodie content and I'll see you guys in another video.